Ana! Ana! There you are. Anna, it's already growing dark. You know how I feel about you being out at night. Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh, my dear. You needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No. No. That is for me, and me alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's just... the things that are out there. Promise me, you won't ever venture out into those woods. I... I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go, you must always remember, however near or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood, where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. myself into if if only I'd have listened to you then no I can't think like that grandpa needs me I have to find a way to help him that's it I don't know how I'll do it but no matter what I have to find an escape Anna ah! did you say something before who were you talking to Talking to myself, I guess. Hmm. Well, stop it. It's weird. And come closer. I've told you a thousand times I can't hear you properly over there. So, Anna, how are you this evening?
Is this a trick question? You never care about how I am. That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, uh, exercise. Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? I need you to go on and sit in it. Um, what exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh, <coughs> that is to say, come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now, hmm? Good. Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Now hop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh, curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... My what? Your telekinesis. Show it to me. Tell a what? I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry. I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right, all right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up, hold it out, and then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. What a huge t- He's so big. Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right then, here goes nothing. Mm. I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow! Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked! It actually worked! I bent the spoon! Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. What a huge teddy bear! He's so big! did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally, it's mine! All mine! <laughs> uh, oh, uh-oh. 
Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. Um, but there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> the day has come at last. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Did... did he just... No, he couldn't have. Um... Hello? Is someone there? Uh... Hello? You can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh. Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? This is bad. I... I was talking to... Oh... No one. Just myself. Again? Anna, really? I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. Hello? Who... are you? Oh, I'm... I'm... Mm, I'm... Bear? No, wait. That's not right. Be... Ben? Burn? Burshin? Oh, wait! Yes! It's Ben! It's Ben! Wow! I remembered! You... have trouble remembering things? Oh, yeah. Everything from before. I wasn't always like... this. What did you mean, not always like this? Oh, I'm really like you, Anna. You're... a girl? No, yuck! I'm not a girl, silly. I'm a boy. Well, I was a boy when that old woman first brought me here. So the witch, she did this to you? Turned you into a teddy bear? Uh-huh. I, I, I think something went wrong. She screamed and said witchcraft was stupid and, and I was so scared. So I just sat here and tried to stay as still and quiet as possible. Gee, Ben. That's awful. I'm sorry. How long have you been here for? Oh, I'm... I'm not really sure, but it sure feels like a long time. A very, very long time. I tell you, I was so happy when you came, Anna. Finally, a friend. Are you... Did you say you're gonna escape? Shh! Not so loud! This isn't happening. What isn't happening, Anna? This! Me... talking to you. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I suppose it is. I... I think it is, Anna. What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure, but it's bad. It's very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she wants to take it from you somehow. I'm sure of it. It's okay, Ben. I'm going to escape. Well, we're going to escape. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but um, how are we going to escape, Anna? sure yet. I'm starting to think, though, this power of mine. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. You are so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh no, Anna, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered in cables and lights and, and, and machine things. Okay. Okay. 
Let me think about this. That blue light in the headgear thing, that's what seemed to bring this telekinesis out. So then, perhaps there's a way of removing that from the rest of the machine, or perhaps there's a way of controlling it from in here? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you gonna do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is... So to escape, I need to... Find out if there's a way to control the machine from here? Yeah. Or at least make that blue light thing happen again. Sounds so simple. to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting. I'll just take a crayon, I think. Hmm. And some paint, too. I like paint. Right. On the bottom half, they're protected. That means the witch didn't want me using them. On the bottom half, there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff. But I can't get to them with this cover on. Hmm. Very shiny horn you have there, Mr. Unicorn. And, uh, a little sharp and pointy, too. I suppose I could cut off his... I'm sorry, Mr. Unicorn. Close your eyes now. Woo! See? That wasn't so bad. This might be pointy enough to get under the cover and pry it off. Let's see. Ah, Mr. Unicorn's horn! It got all bent and broken. Guess I don't really need it anymore. Okay, let's see here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. None of them seem to have any indication about what they are or what they do. Hmm, uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But look, Ben. That bit there. That's the glowing bit. Those blue light bits seem to be glowing more now that it's disconnected, too. So, maybe if I try it now... Ah, Anna, that sounds good. About it glowing and everything. But I'm not so sure you should pick that up. It does seem rather... sparky, doesn't it? Hmm... Maybe there's something I can use to pick it up safely, though. Uh, I should try to find something that will make it safer to pick up. rubber ball. Hours of fun. It's not easy to carry either. Yeah, that could work. Now I have a perfect half circle of rubber thing. Ah, yes. This rubber should make it safe to pick up. I hope. I have to say, even after doing all that, even if I can pick it up, should I really be putting something like this on my head? Grandpa, 
I know you tell me not to ever do something as crazy as this. If it means getting back to him, though, I have to try. Here goes nothing, I suppose. My brain just turned upside down. Anna? Are you all right? Did it work? Anna? What was that light just then? Uh, you see... What are you doing in there, child? I was just... What do I say? Anna, don't you turn your back on me. I don't know what you're up to in there. But remember this, I'm watching you. I can assure you, little girl, whatever you are up to, you will regret it. That's it! If I can tamper with the speaker, maybe gently move the camera, then she might not be able to see or hear me escape. All right, here goes nothing. Uh-oh. That was a little more than I intended. Oh no, oh no, oh no! She's gonna be so mad at us, Anna. This time, Ben, you're very right about that. I think I see her now. She's coming, Anna, she's coming! It's too late to worry about her now. We have to get out of here, quick! Oh yes, Anna! Your power! Hurry! Alright, it's time to go, Ben! Um, do you need some help getting up? Oh no, no! No, I can do this. Um, oh dear. That's it, Ben. You've got it. Oh boy, I did it. I really did. Okay. Okay, quick. We need to see if you can walk so we can get going. Oh yes, let me see. Well, there you go. You really did do it. All right, Grandpa. I'm coming. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's just a painting. What are you doing, Ben? I'm hiding. It's too scary down here. What now? <gasps> I can't look. I can't. Oh, dear. Curse you, Anna. Ben, I'm sorry. That didn't quite go the way I planned. That's okay, Anna. At least now the witch is locked out downstairs. Yeah, I suppose so. Although now she's blocking the exit. So, now what do we do? I... I don't know. Give up, maybe? No, we've come this far, Ben. And, well, we're bound to find another way out, right? Right. Er, well, if you say so. All right. I'm going to go see what I can find. You just sit tight. I'll be right back. Hi, Ben. Hello, Anna. How are you? So, any ideas?
ideas? Well, um... Couldn't we just kind of explode the wall away and just run for it? Run for our lives! Um... Ben, I... I'm not sure that's the best idea. I don't think it's exactly strong enough to just blow away walls. Oh. And if the witch sees us escaping, we're done for. I think if we're going to get away from here, we need to be more careful. Find some way that's quiet, without her noticing us. Ben, what if we can't get away? In the end, we might not be able to escape the witch. Yeah, I did think about that. I just would feel bad for you. With your grandpa and all, your grandpa is sick? Yeah, I don't even know what it is. It was so strange. One day he was perfectly fine. He was even working with the crops. Then the next morning he just... couldn't get up. Oh my, I'm so sorry, Anna. We'll find a way out and find a cure. Keep looking around. Okay, Anna. Good luck. Knowing my luck, I'm going to need that key. Curse you, Anna! Oh my, the witch is evil. Once upon a time, that might have been an interesting conversation. These days, though, I think that conversation would be a little one-sided. Ah, hello. You open this door right now. Well, I would like to. It's just... Just nothing. Open it now, child. Well, there were some things I wanted to ask you. And it's just that you seem a little... angry at the moment, too. Oh. Who, me? No, 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 no. I'm not angry. I'm just... um... Concerned. Yes, concerned. You've had quite a big day, what with all these exercises and escape plans. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I know you said you're not angry, but I'm pretty sure you are. Open this door right now. I swear, child, you will pay. Oh, how you will pay. Once I'm done with you, I'll pick you limb from limb and eat you for dinner. Whoa! Eat me? Oh. Uh, oh! Did I say eat? No, I didn't mean eat. I, um... Hmm. Now I'm definitely not opening the door. <clears throat> Just... <clears throat> Let's talk. Yes? That's what you want? Well, come on, then. Keep me here. Why do you need me to do this tele... Can... Telekinesis. Yeah. I mean, 
You already have your spells and magic. Ha! Ignorant fool. Huh? Well, it's because... Oh, company. Yes, company. It gets lonely around here. Or something, or rather. But... You hate my company. Well, it's none of your business. <sighs> Since I'm trapped here, it kind of is. Why do you have a man chained up in here? What? What are you talking about? There's a man chained to the wall in this room. He's been here a while by the looks of it. Ooh, him. Yes. <laughs> him. They both had it coming. Up to no good, neither of them. You're one to talk. <laughs> I'm growing tired of talking. That's enough talking for now. Then open the door. Uh, let me think about it. <sighs> oh, interesting. A heart-shaped key. And a pretty orb... thing. Jeez, this paperweight is heavier than it looks. Hmm, not very interesting. There's only a long line of string in here. That's a picture of the witch, the one who kidnapped me. Hold on a second. I think I see something. Oh, a secret lock. Hmm. Something really important must be behind here. The lock is thick, and the I guess if I'm going to open this, I think I'll need to find the key. It's all pretty much what you'd expect. This seems to be here for the person chained up. Why it's there though, and what it's draining, I do not want to know. Whatever it is though, it's left a lot of smelly mold on the inside of the drain. I... I guess I could use some mold... for... something. Gross. 